The jury in the trial of four men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer is in its third day of deliberations, and there's still no verdict. 13 on your side's Joshua Vincent has been covering this trial from the very beginning, joining us now live from outside the federal building in Grand Rapids with an update. Josh. Kurt Juliet, moments ago, defense lawyers walked out of the Ford Federal Court building and told us we are on to day four. As you just mentioned, that we still do not have a verdict. Over 24 hours of deliberations. That's exactly what the jury has been doing over the last three days, and they've been working pretty hard and quietly. Some of you may be at home wondering, well, what exactly have the jury been asking about? Have we heard anything from the jury? Take a look at your screen, and I'm going to tell you a little bit what the jury has said over these last three days. Today, the jury came into the courtroom bright and early at 8.30 and they uh, requested office supplies like paper clips and sticky pads. And on Tuesday, they asked the judge if they could get their hands on the thousands of pages of transcripts of witness testimony. The judge told jurors that that wasn't available and said even if it was, he wouldn't be able to provide that uh, to them, saying that they should rely on their notes and the oral statements made during the trial. And on Monday, which was the first day of deliberations, the jury asked the judge for a legal definition of the word weapon, which he consulted both the prosecution and defense lawyers and then gave them a clear definition of the words. There's so much here at stake. Adam Fox, Barry Croft Jr., Daniel Harris, and Brandon Caserta are all charged with a kidnapping conspiracy, and three of them also face additional charges, including conspiracy to use a weapon of mass destruction, namely explosive. And again, if convicted, they all could spend the rest of their lives behind bars. So again, the jury is going to reconvene tomorrow, bright and early at 30 and we'll be here and as soon as that verdict comes down we're going to bring that to you live as for now we're live outside the four federal court building in downtown grand rapids joshua vincent 13 on your side